business as a child, and ain't nobody give a fuck, ain't nobody give a damn, but. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about some adult stuff and how I got molested by my daddy. And so, if you have kids around you, um, send them off out the door or in the room or whatever, wherever you're watching this video and all that. So, I'm going to be telling y'all what happened to me when... When I was like 11 or 10 years old, and yeah, so okay, okay, bitch, don't start, don't start, don't start crying, bitch. So, anyways, so hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and comment what you think down below. And okay, let's get started. I was like 11, 11 or 10 years old. My uh, my daddy used to come pick me up or whatever, and I let her come go stay with my sister. It's, we like um a couple of years apart. She's like 21, not 23. Okay, but anyway, yeah, we was like a years to like two years or three years apart. But anyways, I don't know, bitch. So, okay. So, what happened, let's start off what happened when the first start, when the first started. So, he used to come like pick me up to go play with my sister and all that. And when he come pick me up, when he, it's like, he could, he wouldn't pick me up and go play with my sister like all the time. Like, we used to stay in this like, Blue House on 8th Street or whatever. I think it was 8th Street. Well, I don't know. But in the, he used to stay at the house. So when my sister go over there, then I go over there to play with her and all that. But it was this one time he told me I was going to play with my sister. And we went. I went to his house or whatever. And, girl, it was like, I said, where's my sister? But, I ain't gonna say her name on camera, but, anyways, I said, where's my sister? We just gonna call her sister. I said, where's my sister? And then I come in here to play with, with her. But, anyways, and I saw him, he told me to sit on the chair. He went in the bathroom, came back out. Then he sat down beside me, like, I told my I told my sister about this, and I also told my cousin, but I ain't telling the whole thing, how it first started and how it ended. So I ain't tell them like what I'm about to tell y'all. I ain't tell them the whole thing. But anyway, he sat he sat down beside me on the chair, and he started like rubbing rubbing up my leg and whatever. So I was like scooting over and all that. And he like, uh, he like scooped back over to I was to the like the arm of the chair. And then, then when he scooted over, then he kind of squished me to the arm of the chair and close to him. And he like rolled up my leg and went between, he like rubbed between my legs and like, yeah, then he told me, like, he said, take off your pants. And I said, and I said, no, I want to go home. He said, no, you're not going home. And until we, until you do what I say. I was like, um, I, I said, I'm too young and I can't, and I can't do that. But he said, um, the age is the age, and 
and and all that, but. But anyways, he like, but anyways, he like picked me on the arm of the chair and, and put it, and put out my pants, whatever. But, but, oh God. But anyways. But anyway, he start, he start like, uh, like spitting on me or whatever. But anyways, he was like going to, he was like going to pin it in and he was like, okay, he was like going to do intercourse, but anyway, I'm a lot, I like move and like try to run to the front door, but he he like grab your back and like mm -hmm. okay bitch get a grip get a grip get a grip bitch but anyway he's like mm -hmm. he like pull me back and like you know like it wasn't like easy it was like hardcore like you know it was like bitch it hurt it like a damn bitch bitch yeah, bitch, I like scream and I cry and I try to fight him off, but he was like bigger than me then. Like, he was like way bigger than me then. I was like, uh, like 10, 10 or 11, but anyways. <sighs> but it got, it got so bad that I, like, I think, I don't know, I think I like passed out a little bit because everything like went dark. <sighs> but, this is why you put on the makeup. But I knew I was about to start all this, but. Okay, I had to go off the camera to get myself together. But anyways. <laughs> but, okay, okay, okay. Call now, bitch. Get a grip. But anyways, he like got finished or whatever and like went in the bathroom. So he told me to go like get in the car or whatever. And so I would have got in the car. He like he like took me home or whatever and all that. But anyways I think my sister's like, I think my sister was like in Florida or I don't know. She was like with her mama. I just said she was with her mama, but mm, yeah. So when she like contemplated me, I was like, okay, I feel safe around her because he gonna he gonna do that and then all that. So I stayed at night. Like, I stayed a night at the house with with my sister. So, he was like, I don't know. He, uh, I think he thought we were asleep or whatever. I, well, I don't know. I don't know if she was asleep. Well, I don't know because I told her about this. She said, she knew he was like standing over us or whatever. But it was more like he was standing over with me and watching me or whatever and all that. But he never he he never like do nothing until yeah. He like he never like do nothing. But but the skip on like skip on when I hit like when I hit 14, it started to start getting like worse and whatever. I, yeah, it started like, getting worse. I almost like, oh, 
I almost like took my life at 14 and because I got tired of him and all that that's yeah I almost took a handful of pills I don't know who pills they was but I almost did I like put them I like put them all in my mouth but I couldn't swallow them and I just I just spit them out in the uh in the toilet and I flushed them and all that. Yeah, but so my mama moved on eighth street. We was on I was like, well we was on tenth street when I no I don't know what we I don't know what we was. I don't know. I don't know. When I was like fourteen I don't even know what I was. I was so I was so caught up on myself and try to kill myself and whatever and all that. I was so caught all up I was so caught up in that and you know, girl I was trying to end it. Like I was trying to like end it real fast, like like he like kept doing it. Like come pick me up. So I had to like go with him. I didn't want to go with him, but I I kind of had to. But anyways, so so mm, okay, the dark bitch. So anyways. That, like, it was like the day after, he was like, and he came to pick me up. And I wonder why we were, like, going on, like, I don't know. It was, like, back where the Batsley. Like, it was, like, to their house, to him and his wife's house. But he passed it, like, we were going to, like, Batsley, whatever. And then he went on this, like, this dirt, this dirt road, and I'm like, okay, well, what the fuck? What, what we going? On? And I don't know, bitch. He ain't say nothing and all that. He said he told me to shit my fucking mouth and just ride and all that. I was like, okay, and but anyway, we want to just like dirt road. But anyways, he told me to get in the driver's seat. So he got out. He left the door open. He told me to get in the driver's seat. He said, put your knees up in the driver's seat. And and lean over the light. Like, the arm wrist right there. Like, lean over. So half of my body was in, like, Patrick's side. And my back side was in the, in the driver's side. So... I already knew I already knew what was about to go on and I tried to like stop it and whatever. I was like try to like move and get out. He like pushed me over real aggressive. Like like push me. Hold on, I'm going over. Anyway, he like anyways, he like pushed me over and like popped it in just like that. I was like uh, I started crying. I started bleeding. Yeah, I was bleeding. And, girl, it was like, it was like, like, too much. And, like, girl, I ain't, we was in the woods. I ain't, nobody could hear me yelling for help and, and all that. But, mm. It wasn't that like, but woods and like a dirt road. The dirt road that we went on, it was like, it was like, uh, it was like, I can't explain. It was like a dirt road, but it wasn't like a pond, but it wasn't no, no type of houses by there. It's like real like quiet and way far out. When nobody couldn't hear me screaming or whatever, and all that. But anyway, skip on to the when I hit sixteen, 
that's when it kind of like slowed down and all that. And I, I, I told him, I just, I told him and his wife that I want to move back to my mama. I rather deal with her than still a damn like getting. I rather I rather deal with my mama still a getting like molested and and rammed all up in and all that. And the thing about it, well, anyways, he used to like let me tell y'all the story. He used to like brag about it to his friends and whatever. Like we're gonna name one of his friends Em. Like, M used to, like, ask questions and all that. And M, like, like, he wanted to try it and all that. So, my, he's like, he said no and whatever, like. But, it, it was, like, real fucking, like, nasty and aggressive stuff and kind of sick. Cause he was like brag about it, like to all his friends, like like him and and Jay and all them bitch. So it's like okay, um, I feel like I feel like I was like a prostitute. No offense, no no um. I ain't got nothing toward prostitutes or sex workers or like all that. But it was like it was it was like I was like being sex trafficking, like that's how I felt. That's how I felt like I was and all that. The thing about it uh, I believe my grandma like knew, but she didn't want to say nothing. And his brother, okay, my dad's brother that lived in Waycross, he knew he knew what the fuck was going on, and he and he ain't say nothing or he ain't do nothing or he ain't do shit. And but but kind of threatening me not to say nothing or he'll like take me to court or whatever. But anyway, it's like real stupid. He like text me and all that. The thing, but if you watch my other video, his son the one like, um, it did something to me too. And I ain't now, I ain't now person came to apologize to me. They all like said, uh, get over it and um, he did. He ain't him to feed himself and all that. It's like real stupid and like, you know. It's I don't know, girl. It's like real stupid and like I feel like sometimes I feel like like taking my own life. Like, like right now, I feel like taking my own life and. But I can't because I got sisters and and my mama and all them and I don't want I don't want nobody to feel bad for me because I went because I went through all this. It's like hard for me to like talk about it to like it's like hard for me to like talk about it to other people. That's why I talk about it to my sister. And my uh and my cousin they the older two that like knew about it. But I did but I did not know but the thing about it, I did not know that my um like my grandma and my um and my uncle like knew like knew about it. But and they do and they get and they do that. And I ain't doing it about it. And I went through all this as a child. And ain't nobody give a fuck. Ain't nobody give a damn. But, but me and, but my sister, she knew about it. So I told her about it. We sat, we sat on the phone for hours and talked about it. 
We can talk about all of this. And I talked to my cousin about it. And she kind of, I don't know, she could tell her own stuff what she went through. But if you ever got, like, molested by a family member, you don't know how to feel. And you don't know. You you would know how uh, how I feel about it. You would know when you want to take your own life, but you got people to live for, and you got family to live for, like sisters and brothers and all that to live for. And it's kind of hard for me to deal to deal with this by myself, and I have nobody to uh to appeal on. Uh, if I tell people, some people would not like, believe me or whatever because they see the, uh, okay, they see the nice side of him, but they see the other side that I see. Like, it's real sick that, uh, that, uh, that a daddy will, like, go that far to, like, mess up his whole child life. And all that, and I really don't, and I really don't like him. I hate the fuck out of him. And and uh, when he was living, I I almost ended his life because I didn't want to go. But it was, I hate I hate going through this by myself. But I had no choice because it's like I ain't got nobody to depend on. But anyway, but anyway, I'm about to end this video because <laughs> it is really hard for, like, for me to, to talk about it and deal with this. Yeah. It's, like, it's like too much. <laughs> Alright guys, this is it for this video. So hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell button so you can know when I uh upload. And okay, I still ain't got myself together yet because I'm girl. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, Nessa. Calm down, bitch. Calm down. Okay, okay. But anyways. Um, follow me on my social media. You can follow me on Instagram at Vanessa Chrisley underscore one. My social media will be, will be linked down below. My discount code will be linked down below. So, alright guys. Bye girl. Bye girl.